It's a rite of passage for any entertainer performing the national anthem at a high-profile sporting event. But for two amateur singers at the Stanley Cup Finals, it helps to have a little ice in your veins. NBC's Kevin Tibbles has their story. When Jim Cornelson goes to work in Chicago, he's got 22,000 people waiting for him. And boy, do they appreciate what he does for a living. Cornelson belts out the Star Spangled Banner before Blackhawks games in a building fans call the Madhouse on Madison. This is as close to being a rock star as an opera singer is ever going to get. For years in Chicago, the anthem has become a deafening show of pride and spirit. But now, with the Blackhawks playing the Boston Bruins in the Stanley Cup Finals, there's a little friendly competition. Because this fellow warming up his vocal cords is Bruins anthem singer Rene Rancourt. It's getting there. Oh, can you see? He's been doing it for nearly 40 years, always ending with his signature fist pump. I imagine that I'm in an opera house, and it's a great thrill each time. Rancourt was also present in the aftermath of the Boston bombings, where he simply led the fans as they stood and sang. When the fans started in so strongly with such feeling, I, I just was, I was moved to tears. Both men say they're honoring U.S. servicemen and women when they sing. Cornelison shares his little corner of the ice with two of them. It focuses what the anthem is about. We're cheering as uh, uh, Americans. On the hand of each singer, you'll notice sizable Stanley Cup rings. Both the Hawks and the Bruins have won during these tenors' tenures. And soon, one of them will have two. Kevin Tibbles, NBC News, Chicago. And by, by the way, the teams will go at it in the Stanley Cup Finals Game 5 tonight. You can watch that later on NBC. That's NBC Nightly News for this Saturday. I'm Lester Holt reporting from New York. I'll see you tomorrow morning on Today, then right back here tomorrow evening. Good night.